Hey everybody, welcome, welcome! My name is Kurt, aka Driven Gamer, and I'm here today with a new playthrough. This time we're playing The Isle of Cats, a game where you're trying to rescue cats, getting them on your ship. And look at that ship. It's all empty for now, but we're going to fill them with a bunch of cats on the island before the evil dude here gets to the island and uh, well captures them i think so there is this full big bag full with these cool cat tiles in all different shapes and we're going to try to save these animals to save these cats and get them on our ship so we're playing a solo game today i am playing the purple player here with this purple cat that's my token here uh it's also the purple dragons flying around my ship I'm playing against the AI who is called Sister and this is her uh, player pound for this game. You can choose whichever you want. Okay, so there are differences with the multiplayer game. I'm going to go into that a little bit. I'm uh, going to show you how to set up a little bit of this solo variant. And uh, after that, we're going to try to save some cats, right? So first of all, we need some special cards for the solo variant. So there is a bunch of uh, special things here. We have the color deck here, solo color. Now this is very simple. This has all five colors of cats in there. And you shuffle these and uh, let's shuffle them good. So I'm, you know, I'm not cheating. And we place them next to each other or somehow I'm going to place them a little bit like this. Uh, there we go, and we reveal the first one. Now, what's going to happen is, in this game, blue cats will score, every blue cat on my ship at the end of the game will score five points for our opponent's sister. We will reveal a new one each round, a new color, and they will be worth less points, four, three, two, and one for each cat. So that's something we want to take into account while playing uh, this game. All right, what else do we have? Well, we are going to have solo lessons. We have the normal solo lessons, and it's very simple. We're going to shuffle these as well, and we're going to uh, draw three of these, right? And um, let's take three of these cards. One, two, three. Now, this is the basic difficulty, the lowest difficulty possible. Now I've only played this game solo once so far. I lost pretty bad. I played this mode, this very easy mode. Well, it should have been an easy mode, but we're going to make it one step higher of difficulty because of the playthrough. Now we take the advanced solo lessons. Also going to shuffle these and take one. Now you could take more going for a more and more difficult uh, game. Uh, Let's not be overconfident, especially after I lost my first game. So what does, do these lessons do? Well, these are the basic ones that we have. Um, and this is the special one, well, the, a little bit harder one. These are going to score for sister. This is something we have to also take into account. So in this game, the highest scoring lesson scores twice. So the, the lesson of, that she has that scores the most will score two times so let's put that here what else do we get she will score the boss cats points two points per cat in the largest family so we're going to try to make families because they will score big points but for each cat in my biggest family which will score the most points sister will get two points ah i don't really like that one all right which if we uh, do we have as well five points she will get for each lonely cat what's a lonely cat well that's a cat of a color not adjacent to any other cat of the same color we don't want to have that in this game five points for each one wow and this oh this is a terrible one folks so she will score four points for each covered treasure map I will talk about treasure maps la uh, later, but there are five treasure maps on the ship. Normally, you would love to cover them, but uh, in this game, I'm not sure. But this is kind of a very bad lesson to have. Because there is a bunch of things that will score at the end of the game. 
you will see our ship here. Let's zoom in a little bit. And we're going to score this ship as well. We will score, well, minus points quite a bit. Minus points for each rat that is still showing. Which is okay, we can do that probably. We will also score, and there is the big problem with this card here. We will score, well, Sister will score 4 points for each map card that we cover. The problem is, we also want to fill in rooms. There are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7 rooms here on this ship. And for each room that we don't fill up completely, we score minus 5 points. Now, almost every room has a treasure map in it. So in order to fill it completely, we need to cover up these treasure maps. So my, I won't maybe want to focus on this small one and the very big one here, but then still we would in this in the middle one. Ah, oh, that's a very that's a terrible card. I uh, I'm not I'm not feeling it, folks. All right then. Solo as also solo basket cards. A whole bu uh, bunch of these. These are all of these green cards. I will explain what these do later. We'll just shuffle these and uh, place them in a draw pile. Uh, there we go. That's it. All right. That's set up. Uh, for a one and two player game, each common treasure will have five pieces of them. Of course, I will start with one permanent basket, uh, as we always do. And besides that, very important as well, we have six Oshax cats lying here. Now, I've put them like this, but they are numbered, right? We don't, have, we cannot forget that they're numbered one. To six one two three four five six because they might go away because of sister okay and that's about the setup of course part of the setup is to shuffle the big pile of cards uh, there are cards that are here always and three random lesson modules there's a bunch of les lesson modules each having a bunch of lessons in them you ch you choose three of or take three as ra at random and you shuffle them into this big deck of cards and then we can begin the game. First thing we do is, well, get some cats that we can uh, rescue, right? So the way we do that is we just draw eight random cats from the back, put four on the left of the island here and four on the right. Now the difference between this and the multiplayer game is this time we have to place them next to each other so they are numbered as well, one to eight from left to right. So that's what we're going to do. So we're going to draw one, Oh, and this is a rare treasure. If you don't know the game, these come out of the bag as well, but they get put aside as well. And in this solo variant, they are also numbered one, two, three. Uh, at this moment, I only have one. But if we draw a rare treasure, that gets replaced by a new cat. There's a blue one. And we don't really want to have blue ones, folks. So I'm probably going to ignore that one because they were five points each for sister. There we go, a red and a purple one. Nice. All right, so let's go to the next part. Next step is, oh, another, okay, two rare treasures. So let's put them here. So now we have three rare treasures, which is pretty cool. And another blue cat, which we won't, don't really want. A red, oh, another Oshax cat. Now I don't really know in the solo game what these do because in, I think in the basic, in the retail version, this is the Kickstarter version, has a couple of differences, another more tiles, more cards. Um, I think in the normal retail version, you only have six Oshax cats. Now in the Kickstarter gave you more and they are added to the bag. If they come out, they go into the pool of Oshax cats. <clears throat> that one cannot go away because the artif artificial intelligence only will take Oshax 1 to 6. So we'll say, I'm not sure what's happening. So another tile here, uh, another rare treasure, another shape. Now if I would draw the same shape, then I would just put it on top of the other tile of that shape. A red and another blue one. Ooh, a lot of blue ones, we don't really want those, but that's okay. Okay, so that's the first thing we do in a round is uh, seat this uh, board here or the table, and then we do the next step and that's all written on the ship. So next step is fishing, which is very simple. We get 20 fish uh, in our supply. Now these fish, uh, 
these tokens here, which are Kickstarter's uh, tokens. The normal ones are just uh, cardboard tokens, which is perfectly fine. It looks like they're three fish. There, this counts as five, actually. The dark blue spots means that there are two fish underneath these three fish. So yeah, that's uh, important to know. Otherwise you might be yelling at your screen and saying, hey, that's just three fish, but it's actually five for one, each of those. All right, next step, if we look at the board again, is to explore. Now, this is also a little bit different from the multiplayer version. So in the multiplayer version, you will draw seven cards from the big deck of cards and you choose two, you keep two, you give the other five to your neighbor, uh, you get five from your neighbor as well. You take two more, three go to the next player, you receive three, you choose two and give one to the next one and you receive another one. In the solo variant, you just first draw five cards and you keep three of these. Now in this case, we let's see what we have. So we have a bunch of different cards here. Uh, at this moment, I'm not going to go too deep into what, why I'm choosing cards. I will do that uh, very soon. Um, let's see, let's see what I'm going to take for now. I'm going to take these three cards. I will explain later, but the other two that I didn't choose, they are discarded. And then I draw one, two, three, four, five new cards. There we go. Okay, let's see what these do. I don't want that one. Yeah, I might want that one. Oh boy, boy, boy. I think for now I'm going to go for these cards. So another three that I keep, so now I have six. And then I just take one more, the top card of the deck, and that's it. All right, and now I have to, now we go to the next step of the explore phase is determine which cards that I want to keep because each card you have to pay for to keep. And the cost is written on the top left corner of these cards here. So, oh boy, if I want to have everything, then it will cost me six, 11, 12, 13, 14, 17 of my 20 fish. Now, big problem is, well, I do have 20 fish, but to rescue cats, you also have to pay three for the ones on the left or five for the ones on the right. So that's a little bit expensive to get, keep everything. So I think for now, I'm going to not take this one. This is a half basket and you need a complete basket to rescue cats or two half ones or broken baskets. Uh, this is good for turn order. I will explain that later, but I'm going to forgo to keep this one. Um, this is very expensive but it allows me to get an Oshax cat, which you can choose which color it is. That's great for the future. There are a lot of treasures, so that's pretty cool. Uh, and this gives me another basket, but I think uh, they're pretty expensive for now. So I think I'm going to go uh, and leave one of those away and I'm going to go for four, uh, nine, 10, 12. So I'm going to pay 12 fish. So I'm going to 15, getting three back. All right, and uh, these are the one fish uh, tokens. Again, in the normal game retail version, they're cardboard. Okay, so I kept five cards. Now we go to the next part, which is the read lessons uh, part, which uh, means that every player, in this case, only me, has to play, it's mandatory has to play all the lessons and there are two different lessons all the lessons in their hand there are these blue cards here and they also say public lessons which means they count for uh, everybody or just lessons which means in a multiplayer game they would be secret and score at the end of the game only for me but uh, this time it's a plus public lesson now there's a difference also so I'm only the only one player that's going to score this uh, card which means at the end of the game, I would score two points per common treasure on my boat. But in a solo game, these public lessons are only worth 50% of the points that they score. So in this case, I would score only one point per common treasure, which might still be useful. So I have to play this, and this time I can play it, uh, I can play it face up because there's nobody uh, 
well, it doesn't have to be secret for anybody. All right, so that's the only one that I have. And then we go to the next step, which is the rescue cats phase. Finally, we're going to rescue some cats here. So again, I really don't want to have blue cats. Um, I might um, I have to figure out if it's worth to have a big family and a family is also a way to score points. So I already told you how to lose points by having rats still showing, by having rooms not filled in, but I will score points for cat families. So cat family is a group of cats of the same color touching each other, uh, each other in uh, one line. So they don't have to touch each other, all of them, but you, each one has to be adjacent to one another. In somehow, you, you know what I mean. So a family of three is worth eight points, but it goes up, uh, of course, the bigger the family, the more points they will score. But maybe I want to go for small families in this game because of that one lesson card. Also, I don't want lonely cats. I really don't want lonely cats because they score five points each for sister. And I don't really want to cover up the, uh, well, the uh, treasure maps still. Also, rare treasures, there were three points each at the end of the game. And also the lessons that I already showed you, public lessons and private lessons will score me points. Okay, so we go to the rescue cats phase, which means now I'm going to play zero to however I want of these green cards. These are the rescue cards and well, they show baskets. For each basket, I can rescue a cat if I want. So I'm going to play one because I only have one. I have to do this before sister will do some kind of the same thing. Because sister will have her, has a solo basket draw pile. What we'll do is we reveal the top card and we get to see a bunch of things. First of all, we look at this number here, which is very high in this case. It's nine. We compare that to my number here, which is a total of three. If I had multiple cards, I would add up every boot number. But in this case, it's nine versus three. The highest number, well, is the will become the new first player. And that's shown here on this island board here. So in this case, sister is the starting player. Now, we also have a basket number here, which in this case is three. So what happens is we draw more cards from this deck until we have that number of cards included the first one that we already have. So we draw two more cards, but they are drawn face down. We don't know what that will be yet. And then it's time to rescue cats. And first to go is sister. She has the luckier than you card here, which says, first of all, it says cat eight. And now we go to that row of cats that we have. She's going to remove cat eight from the board. So that blue cat here is gone. That's, that's perfect for me. I don't need blue cats at all. She's also going to remove Oshax one. So the first Oshax cat here gets removed from the game as well. That's gone. And now we have six again because we drew a seventh one. All right. So that's it. That's her turn. That's all she does. That's the baskets and the boots don't do anything else. Now it's my turn. So now it's my turn, my chance to rescue a cat. And I think I'm going to spend three fish, three of my precious fish to get one of those. Uh, will I get, I think I'm going for purple. Or do I go for red? So this is the difficult choice. I would love to have a big family already or get a family, but I don't know how much they're worth yet. I only know that blue is worth a lot of points for sister. And I, uh, I want to be careful. Maybe I don't want to have two cats of the same color to start the game with yet. So I might more, I might want to check out the shapes first. And I still think I'm going to pay the three fish in order to save this purple one. Now I don't want, I, I'm, oh man, I do want to get here, which is a very small, easy to fill in room. But I think I will have to start, I better start somewhere in the middle. So maybe I will take this one because that's a very easy one. And I'm going to start to fill up this middle room here. At least that's very, 
easy to do and maybe it will also help me to spread out to the big room and we'll see what we do with the rest. Okay, so that's my first rescued cat. So I discarded my basket, a complete basket for that. And now it's back to sister and that she will turn around the other card, the next card in her row. All right, so she's going to remove cat two. Now we only have six cats left, so we just count from the beginning again. One, two from the ones that are available. And she's taking that red cat that I really wanted to get. So that's sad, so that's not good. That's the one I wanted to get next round. She will also take rare treasure two. We look at our treasure row and she removes rare two from the row. All right, that's one rare treasure less for me to get somehow. All right, I still have one basket left, the permanent one, which you just can use every round by flipping it. So that's probably what I will do. I have five fish left, so I could still get a red cat if I want to. Or, hmm, or I will take the chance, take the risk and get that cheaper purple one. I really don't want that blue one. Uh, so that's a very, that's a tough choice. That's a tough choice to do. So I might want to take this one and st still start my way to that room. Or, or start filling up this room and making a family of purple cats. Ah, oh, but it's so dangerous because I don't know what the purple are worth. Or I could spend more, could spend all my five fish to get a red one and play it a little bit safe. And I think I'm going to. I'm going to spend five, five fish and I'm going to take one of these cats and I think I'm going to take this one and place it right next to the purple one and we'll see we'll see what the future brings this also brings me a little bit closer to this red one um so i really don't want to cover it but it might still be worth it some at some moment so we'll see we'll see okay that's my second cat that i get now it's back to sister she will flip over her last card she's going to remove cat three that's the third cat in the row that of those that are still left and Oshak's tree is gone as well. There we go. That's it. I can't do anything anymore. Uh, I Well, I could do one more thing because I have a purple card, which are any time cards, which you can play anytime that you wish. Now, problem is with this card, it allows me to draw three cards from the big draw pile. But the problem is you still have to pay for them to keep them and I'm out of fish. So I'm going to just keep them, keep this card for uh, a later moment in time uh, when it might be useful. All right, that's it. Uh, I cannot do anything anymore. Also, sister ran out of cards, so she's going to remove those cards. And we're going to the next phase. And the next phase is the rare finds phase where we get to play certain cards. We have the treasure cards, the yellow ones, the treasure cards. Now we can play these if you want. And we can play Oshak's cards, which allows us to take Oshak's cats. Now there's still five left there. I'm going to keep them where they are for now. Why? Well, uh, because uh, I don't know which color, because if you take an Oshak's cat, you choose which color it is. And I really want to know what color of cats scores more points for sister first. Now I could play a treasure card and get either one of these big three point treasure cards, which is pretty cool. Or I could take two common treasures. Why would I take common treasures? Well, they're also worth one point each because of my uh, lesson here. Um, but is that worth it? So that would be worth two points. And then I would take two common treasures. Ah, and maybe I get lessons that score me points for common treasures, but I don't know yet. So, oh boy, will I keep this? But then the chances that they are going away. Will I, will I wait for now or not? Now this is a nice one to put, to start working on this big room here. Or maybe I could take this one and work on both. Uh, I'm not sure. I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait and not play any of my uh, special cards here. And that will finally end this round. So we get to 
flip over our permanent basket again. This ship of the evil dude will get closer. If this reaches this point, then the game is over. And we remove the cat tiles that are still left. So that those go away. And we flip the next card. The next color is purple. Wow. So luckily we didn't uh, make a family out of this. Although, although at this moment, this is a lonely cat. And this is a lonely cat. And lonely cats score five points. So, oh man. So for blue, I can, I don't, just don't want any blues, but I already have a purple one, uh, which is worth four points for her. If I take a second one, it will score, eight, they will score eight points in total. Um, yeah, but now it's worth only five points. So I might want to forgo blue and purple now. Wow, that's difficult. So yeah, we'll see what we'll do with that color. Not too good, not too good, folks. But now we go to round two. Uh, let's do that. Let's let's continue this playthrough for now. Uh, first, we'll well add again eight cats again from left to right. So a red and a orange one, a purple and a red. So we could start working for a nice red family. But I'm not sure if you want to. This is a, by the way, this is a terrible, terrible set of lesson cards, folks. All right, so we do get a new Oshax cat. So we add that to the row and let's add it to the back. So it will become number six. There's a green cat. So we don't know how many points a green cat is worth. More green, more orange, and one more. Let's see another green. So, okay. All right, that's it. We've seeded that now we go to the fishing phase where again we get 20 fish and that's well that's how much we have now 20 because we were all out of fish if i had leftover fish i would get to keep it as i do my cards they stay in my hand as well that's it now we go again to the explore phase where we get to draw again five cards and decide to keep three we have to keep three of them this is great for being fast but i'm not sure i'm going to go uh, for Quickness already. Rare treasures, they're not bad. Why? Why is rare treasure not bad in this game? Because she scores a lot of points for cats. <laughs> and I don't want to. So I think I'm going to focus a little bit on uh, these cards. Now, this is an awesome card, to be honest. So this is pretty expensive. You have to discard two treasures to gain a permanent basket. Now, uh, by the time I get to do this, I first need treasure. So I could play one of these cards to get two common treasures, then discard them. But then there's only three rounds left. Um, so I don't think I'm going to keep that one. So I keep, I'm going to keep these three cards for now. It's a powerful card, the treasure one, but I'm, I'm not going to do it. All right, so we draw five more and keep three. So this is pretty useless normally this is a public lesson normally you choose a color and every player gets minus two points per oh you don't get a color but every player gets minus two points per visible cat on their boat i'm the only player so i really don't want that one um let's see this is a cool one it scores 12 points if you have no empty spaces at the edge of your boat so the boat has as you can see uh, this white border, that's the edge of the boat. So if all these spaces on the edge are filled and I have this lesson, it's worth 12 points. Now, big problem is I'm working from the inside out. So I don't think I will be able to score this lesson. So I think I'm just going to keep these three and then draw another one. That's my seventh card, another green one. So yeah. There we go. Now again, we have to decide which do I keep. There were two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, eleven total. Now, I don't think I'm going to. Oh boy, I I, I want to keep the treasure ones for sure. Uh, this gives speed is a half basket, so I think I'm still going to discard this one. So uh, I think I'm down to nine. Yeah, nine fish for all these cards. Let's do that. Let's pay nine. 
All right, so I've got 11 left, so that's pretty cool. And I add them to my hand, so now I have a bunch of cards, all right? So that's pretty cool. I could still play this, but I think I'm going to wait. Why? Because I want to see what else is going to happen with all those color cards and stuff like that. But then we go to the lessons phase. I didn't keep any lessons, so I don't have to play any lessons. So that's easy. And now we zoom out because now we're going back to some uh, rescuing of cats. So what do we have here? We do have red, orange, purple, which I really don't want to have. I'm going to keep it with this one lonely cat, which how, oh, which is worth, oh boy. So it's worth nine points. This one cat is worth nine points for her. If I add another one to the uh, to this family, then they will be worth together eight points, but they wouldn't be a lonely cat. So still, one uh, I would save one point, but I will have to pay fish for it and won't be able to get another cat. So I think this will become the lonely purple cat in this game. So I probably don't want to save a purple cat. Ah, uh, boy. So what do I want to do? I might want to consider getting that red one, right? So I guess I will save at least a red one. And maybe already that yellow one, if it's still available. So I want to save two cats for now, for sure. That will cost me six. Then I will have five fish left over. Um... Yeah, I want more cats, of course, but I think I'm going to focus on the end game for now. So I'm only going to play uh, one other basket, one more, and hope that she will not take away that one red. If she does, then I'm going to focus on some green and we'll see. But that's it. I'm only going to play one card. Keep a lot of them in my hand for later. We'll see because I want to know what's going to happen. Uh, next round I will be starting to rescue more cats I think. Alright, then we draw the first card again from the solo basket deck and uh, let's see what number is there. Wow, four. So four cards. So a total we add three more cards to this row here. She has four turns. And she has no speed, no speed. So with my speed of one, I'm still starting player, which is perfect because now I can get that red cat and maybe get that the other one as well. Oh boy, I, I might want to do that, right? Okay, we'll see. Anyway, I can go first. So I'm going to save the rescue of that first cat. I'm going to discard a basket and I'm going to pay three fish, three fish. So there we go. And now the important decision. What will I do with that uh, one? I think I'm going to go. So I know she's going to take card six, cat six uh, in her turn. So I'm probably, I want to take this one. And I think for now, I'm pretty sure I can fill up that middle room. So I'm going to start working on that other part of the ship. And I'm going to put this one here. Already covering one rat. Which there's still a lot of rats there. All right, and making a family of two, which is still worth nothing. At least it doesn't give five points to sister for being lonely cats anymore. And that's it. That's what I do. That was my first rescue cat. She's going to take cat six, which is now this orange one or yellow or gold, however you want to call it, that gets removed. And she's also going to remove this a small common treasure of one. That's so that gets removed from the game as well. All right, back to me. I have one basket left. Maybe I should have played one more, so I'm not sure. But I think I'm going to go for that red one. I'm still going to use this basket and pay three cats, uh, fish, pay three fish to get this red cat. Because this is still the perfect cat to fill up this room, right? I cannot ignore that part, right? So there we go, a nice filled up room. All right, so that's something. Cool, back to sister. And sister is going to remove cat four, which is not important because I'm not taking any cats anymore and removing one of these long common treasures as well. 
if those are gone, they're gone. So every treasure that she steals is oh, gone. Cat four goes away. Now there are still four cats, so the fourth cat is gone. And rare treasure one, which is sad because that's one that I actually wanted to have. All right. And again, back to her because I don't cannot do anything anymore. I could do that three card draw, but I'm going to wait again. All right, cat one gets removed. And Oshax five. Oh, she's removing Oshax as well, which is sad. But there are still plenty of them left. And that ends this round, folks. So we're removing that, these cards. And now we go to that rare treasure phase or that res uh, yeah, rare finds phase where we might consider playing some of these cards. I'm still not going to take that Oshax, still not going to do that. But I think I might want to get some rare treasures. So let's see. Um, yeah, I want to fill that book. Actually, I'm focusing on treasure. This is a strange, strange game. So I'm going to take at least one rare treasure. So I'm playing this card and I'm going to take this one here. And I think I'm going to play this here. So covering up the two rats and start to fill up this big room. Maybe working our way to that small one still. All right, which do I have? as well. I can still take any two small treasures or pay a fish to get two common treasures. The small treasures are these two, the common treasures are all four of them. So dear, those are way better. So I might want to have one of these to fill up some rats. Maybe I want that, but I'm not sure. It cost me a fish to do so. All right. Uh, do I want to... There's only one rare treasure left, so maybe I do want to do this. So I'm going to take another rare treasure because there is still there's still one. So let's uh, let's do that. So again, let's place this here, which is dangerous because then I cover up that spot here. So maybe I just want to place it like uh, like this. Doesn't cover up any rats, but I'm still going to get. I'm still going to play this one and pay one fish. I'm going to do it, paying one fish. Then I still got four fish left. Oop, there we go. And taking, uh, what was it again? Two common treasures. So I'm definitely going to take one of these, working my way over there. And because it's still possible, I'm going to take another one of these long ones and we'll place it over here. Okay. That's that. Perfect. But again, I'm not feeling very good about this game, folks. I'm going to keep this one. I'm going to keep the Oshax Cat card. And that ends this round. Let's first see which cats will be... Well, these will be gone. This will be turned over. Let's first take a look at what color is next in her scoring. Let's hope it's not red, folks. Okay, orange. So she scores three points for each orange cat. So we're pretty good with this red and we might consider having more red cats in the future. Although we have still have to take into consideration that she scores two points for each cat in my largest family. So maybe I want to have a second family of red cats. That might be interesting. Okay, let's see. Uh, the boat continues to get closer to the island and then we go to a new round which is something for next video folks this ends part one i'm going to stop here if you want to see more if you want to see how i'm doing if i want to see how i will score i'm not feeling it folks i'm really not but maybe i can still turn this around this game then you are still uh well you're invited to watch part two of this of this uh playthrough as well very soon on this channel or already if you watch this later. I thank you all for watching this. If you saw any rules mistakes, please put them in the comments below so people can see that there was a mistake somewhere. And uh, if you like this, feel free to thumbs up, to subscribe and whatever. Uh, thanks again. See you all next time here on the Isle of Cats. Bye bye.